Hey guys, I can't resist a little push-up rant. Um, here's what I want to convince you of today. A, that real push-ups are way tougher than you probably think. B, that there is no shame in not being able to do one yet. Uh, and connected to that, that you have to have the humility to say, it doesn't make sense to practice something that I can't do one of, right? That makes zero sense. Like if I'm gonna do backflips, well guess what? I cannot currently uh, do a backflip. So how am I supposed to practice backflips? If I wanted to work on my backflip, you know what I would do is get a progression to the backflip, right? I would figure out, okay, what are the right progressions? I wouldn't just pretend that I can do one and start doing that because I'd hurt myself. Now on a push-up, you're not gonna hurt yourself but you're gonna look dopey and make zero progress and have everybody around you wondering, hey, how come that dude who's been training for years and years can't do a real strict push-up? Well, it's because you didn't have the humility to say, I gotta get a progression going toward this, okay? So first of all, uh, convi to convince you that this is hard, all right, I wanna show you a few things. There are some really sneaky mistakes that come up with push-ups. So, I get down in my push-up position, I'll show you the first sneaky mistake that I want to highlight is a broken midsection where your belly will sag and break in the middle and an arched back occurs and even a little bit of that has compromised the stability that you're trying to build in, in, by doing push-ups. So if I'm here like this and my, see my I might feel like I'm flat, but you should notice that arch back and that saggy belly and go like this and suck it up. Tighten your abs and squeeze your butt. Okay, that's called a hollow position where you just slightly, instead of slightly sagging, you're slightly concave on the bottom. You sucked that up, tightened your belly, tightened your butt. The push up is not about your arms, guys, it's about creating tension and strength through your whole body, all right? It's a whole body exercise. And if you're broken in the middle, you're missing it. So look, I am here, so I've got that fixed. As I go down, I can't leave my hips up here, right? I've got to drop my hips with my shoulders. If you are skipping the last two inches of a push-up, dude, you aren't doing a push-up, right? You're not doing it. Now, touch your chin literally means touch your chin on the floor. If you can't, it's because you can't do them yet. You're not strong enough, but that's okay. Most people aren't, but you got to touch your chin, okay? So I'm here, I'm hollow, I'm touching. Now, look where my hands are. Look where my hands are. They are down by my shoulders slightly to the outside. They are not up here in line with my head, right? That is a compensation and a cheat that will uh, make you not get strong, okay? So I wanna just convince you, first of all, these are hard, very hard. You stand up by the karate school, you watch 100 people walk down the street, how many of them you think can do that? Five, I don't know, maybe fewer, not many. So here's what I suggest. Start by testing yourself on a flat plank. Get in that nice hollow position, get your hands right under your shoulders, squeeze your butt in your belly, and I want you to see if you can stay there for about two minutes. Now if you cannot, if you cannot, if you fail, you give out before you can hang out there for two minutes, don't even bother doing push-ups flat on the floor. You need a progression, all right? So let's say you did that, you did that test. You're like, okay, I'm gonna plank. Feet together. Yeah, and no feet apart doing push-ups, guys. Feet together, suck up the belly, get your hands in position here, tight. And just hang out there, two minutes. Now, if you can't do it, that's all right. That's valuable information. You come over here to the stairs. And what I want you to do is get to work your way toward that two minute plank. Work your way toward it, like this. I get on the fourth step. I get straight, I get, not here, but I get hollow. 
and I hold this. Can I do this for two minutes? All right? You can hang out there for a couple minutes. Then I say, okay, can I do this for two minutes? All right, can I do this for two minutes? You know, maybe you started here, a week goes by, and you're already down to the second step. Well, that'd be progress, right? And then you get here, you get methodical about it. You're like, okay, now I've worked my way down here for two minutes. All right, now I can plank for two minutes. Maybe you're ready for push-ups, but maybe not. You go back up to the fourth step and say, okay, I'm going to touch my chest. On the stairs, I like chest more than uh, chin or nose. But I'm going to touch my chest on that fourth step. And no, no breaking in the middle. Stay hollow, stay tight, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. You know, can you do... Can you do five there? Let's say five. You can do five there, you can come down. Be here. Okay. <clears throat> you do five there. Okay. Next week, you're down here. Boom. Touch my chest. Okay. Next week, you're down here. You're doing five on that first step. You get flat on the floor, it's not going to seem like a big deal. You're going to get it. But we got people years doing stinky push ups that have never gone through a progression to get a good one, and there's not all that much to it. Get that two minute plank, get on your stairs, push up, push up, push up, push up, down to the floor, probably take you a few weeks. I mean, it's like the wandering in the desert thing. You don't have to be there for 40 years, okay? It's just right, it's not that far away if you do it right. Okay, rant over, but everybody work on it.